Can someone please call Buffalo and tell them to stop kicking the can down the road? This is another deal that they're just going to have to worry about in a year's time. Like, it's it's crazy how many... <laughs> how little this team has signed for next, the year after next. It's, uh, oh boy, it, it's pretty crazy, but uh, let's jump in. Uh, Allmark has signed a one-year deal at $2.6 million. Um, he's 27-year-old goalie. And, uh, yeah, I think this is a, a pretty good signing. I would have liked them to get a few more years in. I was actually, surprisingly enough, with Buffalo not doing very well, he actually was pretty good. They just seemed to not be able to score around him. Uh, Olmark, before he got injured um, in, in early Jan, uh, which kept him out for, for quite a while, and he was set to come back, and then, obviously, the pause happened. Um, if you look at the month of December, it's actually pretty good for save percentages. Um, really good. And they actually won a lot of their games. Um, they started winning a lot more. Uh, and yeah, it was able to be a big part of that. The team wasn't scoring huge amounts. Um, a lot of empty netters are in that sort of fill the, fill the goal totals. But they were able to get wins. And even in the losses in uh, November and October, although his stats weren't as great... Um, you look through and he's kept them in the game um, quite often, which is, which is with their offense, is a little bit difficult um, to do. Uh, but yeah, I, I really think that they have sort of got a pretty good goalie here. Like, he's he's been pretty solid last season, wasn't spectacular um, until the real later end before he got injured, but was really, really good, was really... Um, yeah, was winning games, and that's all you need at this point, um, especially with what's about to come with this next season. Um, just getting as many wins on the board as possible, because we never know, this thing might stop again, and it might go to win percentage. So I think it's a great deal. I just would have liked them to get a year or two more, because I actually do think deep diving, and I did I did get to catch a lot of Buffalo games, and granted, a lot of them were in December, um, and I was impressed by him. Like, I thought he was good. He's still got a bit to go, but I thought he was good. Like, he's definitely an NHL-caliber goalie. Um, so, which you can't say that about everyone there. So, yeah, and and there's some games that are real standouts um, in amongst that against some pretty good opposition that can really grind you down. I noticed that the team really struggled against teams from the West that were big-bodied, um, and, yeah, obviously they can't stop those sort of goals, and a lot of them are right in front of the net and, and a lot's going on there. But, yeah, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's a goodish deal. I'm happy with it. So, yeah, still a bit way to go. They haven't really bought in. Again, I would have liked two years just where this team is at if they could have got two there, but I, I think he wanted about $4.1 million, which is a bit too much for him. Like, he needs to prove more if he wants that. So this is another... Show me what you got here. Uh, so lots of show me what you got um, coming up with a lot of UFAs at the end of the year. They got Hall, they've got Stall, <laughs> they've got Rule. No, they got Ryder, which I mean that's not really much there. Uh, Montour, McCabe. Uh, so yeah, they've got a couple of, of free agents coming off the books, and now you add Hutton and Olmark to that list as well. So yeah, very uh, interesting to see where this is all going to go. Anyway guys, I uh, thought I'd make a quick video on that, but yeah, I'm I'm cautiously optimistic about this deal. I think Buffalo, I know I said it in the last video because I just did the Reinhardt video, but um, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic for this team next year. I'm hoping they can do something. I don't know whether they'll make the playoffs or not, that's a big deal, but um, yeah. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you did like this video, hit the like button. Otherwise, hit subscribe uh, down below um, if you made it all this far and you haven't. It really does help us out. You have no idea. Uh, I've got a couple of videos coming out. Um, probably tonight will be uh, Will, and it, it's, it's been 10,000 days since the last Canadian team to win a, win a um, Stanley Cup. So I figured we'll do a deep dive on if any of the Canadian teams can win it in the next year. And then I think we'll do a playoff drought one as well. Go through all the teams that are in, in their current playoff droughts and see if they can, um, uh, if we think they'll be able to defunct that now that the rosters are starting to line up a little bit. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Um, have a great day. See you, and bye.